Hello guys, hola amigos. Entonces, Jaco me pregunta cómo conecte el cámara de Salpicadero. Uh, este video es para ti. Bienvenido a este nuevo video. So Jaco asked me how did I connect my um, dash cam. He just heard um, it shut off because the car is shut off as well. Um, here you can see the cable is going upwards, and normally you can um, you can hardwire it if you guide the cable all the way over here. You can simply push it behind. Hide it behind the dirt rubber and go down to the fuse box. And there you can tap it in with an um, add a circuit piggyback adapter. And you can plug it in, uh, for instance, in the um, interior light. Um, well, I would advise to use a switched connection. This way, the dash cam, as I have, will go on when you unlock the car and it will shut down when you lock the car i did it another way i guided the cable up here guided it all the way over there and then it goes behind this part the door rubber and it follows all the way down the door rubber so behind the door rubber and here you can see it come out you can push it a little bit further but uh, as i move this um, seat over from time to time it comes loose a little bit and there it goes behind the seat and here I have hidden the cable as you can see it goes behind the seat liner and here it comes into the armrest and here it goes to the cigarette lighter adapter so I didn't hardwire my dash cam I just plugged it in like this as I said, this is a switch connection and the big advantage of this one is um, that the dash cam will go on and off by itself upon using the car, if ever needed. Uh, for instance, if I'm parking in a parking lot that I don't trust, in a big city or something like that, I can easily remove the adapter and plug it in in the front, which is a continuous um, power source so that way the dash cam will film all the time so Jaco I hope this answers your question and see you in the very next video bye bye